another beautiful day. What's up, folks? So this week we got Raw Artists, a nationwide organized event that was actually a part of in the 2019 version. This year is run by some different folks, but it's bound to still be a great event. Life's been pretty busy lately, but we gotta keep the hustle going. Gotta pack up my stuff and hit the road and head to Malden. So Raw Rebirth, the title of the event, was held at the Mix 360. It's a pretty neat nightclub, which was a nice change up from what I'm used to, especially since it was indoors. I was by myself for this event again, but my setup's pretty easy. I got a system where I can get it down to about 15 minutes, and since I didn't even need a tent, it took even less time. So I was there like four hours early with like nothing to do. But what was really dope though, is the fact that there was a bar where you can order drinks and food. I didn't want to drink too much during the event because, well, you know, then I can't draw. But before it started, I got myself one of them Long Island iced teas and mingled with some of the other artists. Everyone there had a really nice booth set up with very creative ways to display their work. Kind of made me feel silly with just my table sign and wireframe duct tape display, but hey, it gets the job done, right? I was also killing time drawing some of the other vendors to get to know them more too. It was inspiring hearing everyone's stories about what brought them here and how they grinded through their artistic career so far. Being surrounded by so much creativity and talent gave me such a strong sense of comfort that I don't get to feel too often. Usually when I do these events and festivals, I'm the only one doing what I do. Here, I felt right at home where everyone was an artist, be it painters, crafters, even dancers and musical performers. It really felt like one big party. But man, this was the busiest event that I've done so far. I'm talking a never ending line from start to finish. Person after person after person consistently lined up. The second I'm done one person and they're off the chair, the next person's rushing to sit down and get their spot. It started to get to a point where people were upset that I wasn't drawing fast enough, even though each face only takes me about five minutes. And people were wasted too. So that didn't really help their patience. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty great for business, but it takes a lot out of you. And I also feel like I missed out on a lot of the event. I did get to see some performers practice before the show though, so I kind of got an idea of what I was missing out on. But for such an awesome event, I spent most of the time just like, you know, staring at paper. Once I finally made it clear that I needed to take a break and started turning people away halfway through, some dude actually spilled wine all over my booth. So I had to spend my break cleaning things up. Not fun, but hey, I'm a pretty big klutz myself, so who am I to judge? It's hard for me to get mad at people for accidents. But the food there was so bomb, as were the drinks. At the end, the bartender said he noticed how busy I was and gave me a free drink on the house, which was pretty nice. Only downside is about half the time it was so loud, I couldn't hear anything, even people sitting right in front of me, which made conversations and payment plans kind of hard to pull off, but hey, we made it through. Towards the last hour of the night, things finally slowed slow down where I can get up and sort of walk around and enjoy the night, but things were mostly over by then anyway, and I always found myself heading back to my booth for a customer waiting anyways. Even when everybody else was packing up, I was cramming in like five or six one mores just to make those final sales, but man, I was dead by the drive home. If there's one thing I hate, it's driving at night in the rain. Literally zero positive perspective on the situation. It's either you deal with it or it sucks. I dare you to find someone that has fun doing this. All in all, it was a fantastic experience. I can't wait to do another one soon. Hope y'all will be able to make one of these events sometimes if you're in the area. But until then, keep it fizzy.